Hello everybody, welcome to Matt Made It. I am Matt, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is all about adding convenience and efficiency to my CNC setup. I do all my design on this laptop that's here in my main shop, which is my garage. When I'm done, I generate the G-code. I save that G-code onto a thumb drive. I then walk that thumb drive all the way around my house to the other side where my CNC machine is located. I plug that into the CNC machine and I run my carve. If there's a problem or if something has to be tweaked, I have to unplug that thumb drive, walk it back over here, make my changes, resave the G code, walk it back over there. It's just kind of a dumb way of doing this. It's a lot of back and forth. It's a lot of wasted time. Obviously it's preferable to have your computer right by your CNC machine. So today I'm gonna to build a small stand that will go in the CNC room for the computer. I'm gonna build the stand out of some leftover three quarter inch plywood I have. It's leftover from building my large workbench drawers. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it right up here. I demonstrate the half, half, half method for building drawers. If it's something you're not familiar with, I would definitely recommend checking it out. So I measured the space where I want the computer stand to go. I measured my wood and I got real fancy. I busted out the yellow notepad and a pencil and came up with a design that I think is gonna work well. So I'll be doing some cutting on the table saw, doing some dados, some glue, screws, and brad nails for assembly. Then I'll get the stand and the laptop moved into the CNC room. We'll get it hooked up to the Onefinity and give it a test run. So if all of that is something you think you'd be interested in, stick around.
So I started this build at about six o'clock last night. Let's take a look at where I'm at so far. As you saw, I got all the pieces cut and assembled. I put this iron-on edge banding on the sides. My plan was to build a full face frame for this, but then I thought I had the edge banding out, I have the iron out. So I went ahead and just put the edge banding on the whole front. After the edge banding was done, I gave it all a good sanding and I put a coat of this Minwax pre-stain on there. I then uh, had to troubleshoot this broken vacuum cleaner. Turns out it was just uh, this end here, the power cord. I need a new one, gotta put that on. That wasn't part of the project, by the way, the broken vacuum cleaner. So I got that done and that was it for the night. So the wood conditioner raises the grain a little bit, so I just need to take some 220 knock that down by hand real quick, and then I can start applying my stain. But right now, the clock is telling me I have to go to work, so that'll have to be either tonight or some other time. So anyways, stick around, more to come. As you can see, I have the computer stand moved in, computers on it, making use of some of the shelves. I want to build some drawers in here, but that'll come later. For right now, I want to get the computer and the CNC machine talking to each other. So let's go into the computer and I'll show you how we do that. So before we get into the computer to connect it to the machine, the machine has to be connected to your network. There is a Wi-Fi built in to the Onefinity. I'm already connected to the network, but I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it. It's real simple. You just open this flyout menu. You come down here to admin. Under the admin tab, there's a general and there's a network heading. You click on network. You come over here to Wi-Fi setup. By default, you're gonna be on disabled. You wanna change it to client. Type in the name of your network or the SSID. It's just the name of your network. That's whatever you name it. And then you type in the password. You'll just hit enter for the password. Once you type it in, you hit set. It's gonna tell you that it needs to reboot the machine to do those settings. You say, okay, go ahead and reboot it. Once it reboots and comes back up, it's gonna have the name of your network and it's gonna have an IP address. That's gonna tell you that it's connected to the network. That IP address, is the IP address for the Onefinity machine. And that's what you'll type in on the computer in your web browser to connect to the machine. And that's what we're gonna do next. So now that your computer and your CNC machine are on the same Wi-Fi network, all you do is on the computer is you open a web browser, you come up here to the address bar and you type in the IP address for your Onefinity. And you see I already did it, you just click on it and your computer will connect to the Onefinity. And once it's connected, it brings up basically the same screen as what's on the touch screen of the Onefinity. You have your flyout menu, you can do all your controls. So when you're running this off of a computer, there's a couple little extra things you get that you don't get from the small touch screen that comes with the Onefinity. And one of those is this preview screen right here. It's a preview of the G-code that you have loaded. And you can use these buttons over here to manipulate that view. You could also use your mouse to use the mouse wheel to move in and out. This is the right mouse button moves it around. Left mouse button spins it. And then you just come over here and click and reset it. If you look right here, you can see those crosshairs. That's your XYZ. You can turn that off and on with this button here. Uh, this turns off and on your bounding box. If you turn this on, it shows you the size of the material and it also shows you the entire bed of the machine. 
and this shows you the position of your tool where your router or your spindle are at you can see this orange dot right here this will turn that off and on you always want to make sure your bed is clear before you move your router or your spindle but if you watch this orange dot right here if i use my controls here to move it you see it it'll move a little bit uh, likewise, if you're using your wireless controller and you move it around, you'll see this orange dot just moving all over the place. And then this last button here just gives you a bigger preview screen, which is which is nice. So this is a really a really nice thing to have. Um, like I said, it's a preview of the G code you have loaded. It's just another another step to help you not run the wrong G code, which can happen from time to time. And the other big advantage to using a computer to operate your machine is loading G code. The same laptop I'm running the machine off of is what I use to do all my design. And I save all my designs and my G code and everything on this. So there's no more saving stuff to a thumb drive and plugging it in to the machine. I can just come over here to my files and let's say, I want to resurface my spoil board. I just come in here and I load my spoil board surfacing G code and I'm ready to go. Much simpler process than doing it with a uh, with a thumb drive. So this was a pretty simple project that's going to make a big difference here in the CNC room. Running a Onefinity off of a computer is really the way to go. If you have the means to do this, I would highly recommend it. I did want to clarify one thing. You don't have to have the computer in the same room as the Onefinity. As long as the CNC and the computer are on the same Wi-Fi network, they can talk to each other. For my situation, I have a different Wi-Fi network in my main shop over in my garage than I have on this side of the house. So it just made sense to move the computer into this room with the CNC so they could be on the same network. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Please remember to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a thing, and I'll see you for the next one.